actually feels like a nice one. Oh, West no, did not. feel like a nice one. I know, I know, I know. That wasn't on the freaking GoPro. You would say it's a nice one. Yeah. <laughs> right. But I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> guys welcome back to another video Mike it is Sunday morning uh, we are en route to a charter boat to go and try for some sea bass a little something a little different today I uh, got invited by my friend Gary who we're gonna be uh, hanging out with today uh, to book the trip asked if I wanted to go and I said yeah why not Let's see what happens uh, so we're gonna be bringing a couple different rigs uh, one's gonna be a conventional rod one's gonna be a spin rod uh, just gonna see what happens with that. I heard the fishing was phenomenal yesterday. Uh, the boat limited out easily on sea bass and they even went for some ling. So we might get a mixed bag of different fish today. Uh, so we're en route right now. We're gonna get set up on the boat. Uh, and we'll go from there. So see you then. So we're here. We got Gary, the ringleader for this org organizing this trip. Gary, we're gonna slay some fish today, right? Swerp them up. Just swerp them up. You gonna, gonna show us how it's done? Knuckleheads. Gonna sh some biscuits. You gonna show us how it's done? No. Are you are you zoned in yet, or are you still zoning in and out? Like, are we just zoning in and out? <laughs> <laughs> you got a, you got your part, you got your black demon rod ready to take it on its maiden voyage, christen it, hopefully to put a five pound knucklehead on it. All right. That would be nice, that would be nice. This might, this might be the day, dude. It might be the day. Beautiful, sun, beautiful sunrise. Good old, good old Squan River in front of us as we embark on our mission. Our fishing mission. Slay some bass. All right, and you heard me before <laughs> saying it. Today might be the day, and what a day it was. Uh, a lot of action from start to finish, a lot of sea bass, a lot of ling, uh, even going to have a, a little surprise fish at the end of this video that we'll, uh, we'll take a look at. But um, yeah, so we're, you know, as you saw before, um, all the rods on the boat, you know, everybody's pretty much using conventional rods uh, and we're all rigged up using uh, like a chicken rig or a, like a super high low rig. Um, Baited with clam. Um, we didn't really use any lures, uh, at least for the first part of the day. Uh, sea bass literally were just, you know, plucking at clam the minute that the rig was dropped on the bottom. Uh, dropping with eight ounce sinkers. Everybody held pretty well. And it, it was pretty lock and load action from the start of the trip. Uh, you know, felt a couple nudges on the rod tip, set the hook, reel it up, and that's all there was to it. Really, nothing, you know really not much else to explain there um, so I have to say I felt on this trip too I, I felt a little undergunned uh, I'm using I'm using a, uh, a jigging world Nexus rod uh, with a uh, quantum Acurus reel 15 pound braid uh, I think pretty much for the leader I am pretty I'm guessing he probably had on like 40 or 50 pound leader I didn't ask particularly but um, it, it was a lot a lot of fun for such a light rod uh you know catching all these fish it was great um you know they're not big fish i mean i think some of the bigger sea bass up came up maybe were like 18 19 inches uh but yeah you know it was uh honestly it was probably the per like a perfect rod to have for a day like this i, I kind of felt like came in under gunned on this whole trip uh but it ended up being an absolute blast I, I we had a lot of fun with this so uh, you know, from here on out, I'm going to pretty much let the audio just kind of carry its way out as far as, uh, you know, everything that took place here. So, uh, hope you enjoy, and uh, thanks for watching. Dude, that was like instant, dude. Not even like a minute. Yeah, it's literally instant. Instantaneous. Oh, that's going to be fun, Gary. It's going to be a fun day. Yeah, just press it down. The little ones will eat whatever, but the bigger ones will eat whatever. 
Ah, that one doesn't look big. So the other thing real quick too, uh, the mate was going around at the beginning of the trip just asking us to throw all the fish in, into a bucket. Um, you know, eventually you kind of got like a feel for like what was like a keeper size sea bass or what wasn't. Uh, but just, just to start, he had us uh, put all the sea bass that we caught in, the, in there. And, uh, you know, considering how many fish were flying over the rails during this whole trip, he really, he really did a phenomenal job just handling all the clientele with everything that was, you know, rigs, bait, the whole nine yards. Yeah, all right. This might actually be a keeper, Gary. I like the. Ooh, mama. That's a keeper. That's a keeper. A like keeper it. here? Excellent, thank you. That's a keeper, oh, pull him in. Right, right in, Gary. Oh! Wow. Very nice. Got a good amount of fish that size of him. Yeah, dude. Gary, you make me proud. <laughs> that was nice. I don't care what anybody says about you. My PB. Oh, we got a couple already. Look at that. Oh, yeah. shit. Nice one. Yeah. Look at this one. Yeah. Oh. Oh. oh nice. nice. That works. That'll work. Another good one. That'll do. All right. Some better ones coming. Yeah, Gary, this now we got to get one where we have two on one. That that's that's the challenge. Right, that's that's the challenge. <laughs> oh, did he pop off? Oh my God, he popped off. Yeah, I'm logged in on this rod already, bro. I'm like never gonna use anything. <laughs> preschool. Oh. So you got the bite down now too, right? As soon as you feel, as soon as you feel them like pull with it. There you go. That's... There you go. You might have a keeper here, Cap. Might have a keeper right there, that looks good. So as you see walking down from the uh, the helm there, that's uh, Captain Jerry. Uh, so him along with the mate Sean, who's been helping us de-hook the fish, uh, this is the Fishmonger Charter. Uh, they're located in Point Pleasant, and uh, you know, as you can see from all the action we've had on this trip, it's, it's just lock and load, it's lights out, it's been great. So I'm definitely going to be looking to book another trip with these guys, hopefully in the near future. Oh yeah? Yeah. I, I feel like I got a nice one on here. He's uh no, oh, maybe not. Oh sorry. That one's going to the moon. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had this much action on a trip before. Yeah. Just wait. 
Oh, and I'm, I'm, this is fun. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Okay. Oh, this one's got some head shakes. This is there we go. So I got my I got three coming. Yeah, there. There we go. Swing them right up. Gotcha. Woo! This is fun. Wow, three nice lunkers. Look at that. Whoa, We're going to get a picture. Keeper. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. This is awesome. Yep. Pulling like 10, 12 fish already. <laughs> My gosh. Yeah, I mean, I was making that comment because it's crazy to think is uh, looking at the time lapses. This was only about like 30 minutes into the trip and you know, already that many fish just to start. So you can only imagine how much better this is going to get. Gary, Gary, Gary. Oh, oh double. Hey, oh, well, double, Gary, double. you beat me. <laughs> you beat me to the double. Ooh. This might be a keeper, Gary. I think it was at this part of the trip that I started realizing why they had such heavier leader on here. Uh, I started noticing uh, after that last keeper I brought up that uh, the bottom hook broke off. Uh, so, you know, of course it, it causes us to get a little impromptu here to talk a little smack and uh, you'll see how this plays out. Well, I still got one hook. We'll see how I do it one hook. Mm -hmm. 
and it won't it don't even matter it don't even matter it don't they just they want what the clan is cooking oh Gary's in a serious fish here. Oh, yeah. Saw the hook set on that one. It looked pretty good. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's a nice, oh, that's, that's a big one. Nice. Got it. Well done. I got it. So not too long ago we were talking about Gary's PB sea bass. Uh, well, Stay tuned. Wow! Woo! Swing it. I create, I, I correct myself. This is my best. That's a good one. <laughs> on that reel pretty well too. Uh, try measuring it, just see. It's close. I'm not sure if it's going Yeah. You know what I think about guys that throw fish this big in them? <laughs> I love it though, man. That's good. No one says that shit to me. I, I need that somehow. What's good? I know I know where I can post bowl. You're welcome here anytime, man. That's what all about we're all about it. There you go. I'm not saying anything about this one because last time I said it was big, it was tiny. So I'm just keeping my mouth shut. Yep. Right. Yep. Exactly. But my original thought I want to say was it was nice. <laughs> Thanks, man. No problem. Keep firing away with the shots. We appreciate it. So since the action was so fast paced, uh, everybody, as you can see on the boat here, they were pulling up fish one after the other. Uh, we had a 14 man crew on the boat, uh, so that resulted in 140 total sea bass, which made our limit in a matter of three hours, which is impressive. So with that being said, we started making our way towards our new location. Uh, so we started in a wreck at about 60 feet of water. And now we're traveling to another location in 200 feet of water where we're going to be targeting a fish called Ling. So uh, as far as the rig's concerned for Ling, we really didn't change anything. Yet. The only difference we made here was that, uh, you know, we put some gulp mullets on here. Green, pink, uh, orange, it, color doesn't really seem to matter. It's just more like just for some flashes to attract them. Uh, so when these things hit, they, they thump it a couple times, but it's very subtle. So since their mouths are really soft you just 
instead of jerking the rod up to set the hook, you just want to lift it up softly like I did there. And basically, it's just going to be a pretty subtle reel in from the bottom up. And that's pretty much all there is to it as far as catching them. It's not nothing too crazy. And uh, they're a lot of fun. The only, the only challenge I think that we have with this is that, again, you're fishing in like 200 feet of water. So <laughs> at, at a certain point, it starts feeling like a workout, especially when you hook them at the rate that we were piling them up at. So uh, you'll see. This kind of feels like you foul hook them when you first like set the hook on them, you know? Right. Ugh. Oh yeah, he did eat my clam. Look at that shit. So that's uh, officially now a multi-species trip, uh, and that's my first sling that I've caught. So uh, add another uh, awesome award to my fishing repertoire here. Uh, but as, uh, as far as I, I understand here, too, uh, ling have no creel limit, so that you can get them at any size, any length, uh, any sort of quantity. Uh, it doesn't really matter. You can hook as many of these as you want and keep them. There you go. My new nickname. Sling <laughs> man. Sling <Ling> slayer. Kind of lift it real subtle. Oh, <laughs> Gary, are you trying to take me out with your fish now? It's like, are we I'm trying to wing slap the shit? Sling <laughs> wow, I I slapped you with every other kind of fish. <laughs> your ling slapped me silly. <laughs> Here we go. Wow! That's a big one. Nice. That's my biggest one. Didn't know soldier behind. <laughs> yeah, boy. So it looked like we saw either a, uh, a shark or a sunfish in the distance, which, uh, you know, which made way for the next catch, which is going to be uh, quite a big surprise. So uh, stay tuned. I also have to give credit to uh, Gary for flipping out the phone on this one. My GoPro batteries all died. I, like I said, just way too much to capture. Uh, this was a treat. Mike's got a big one on here. Video. We're not too sure what's going on here, but... I think it's a cot. I don't even know what a cod, I've never hooked a cod, so I'm just assuming because it's... Whatever it is, it is nice. Seven inch ling. 
I'd be like, you son Foul of a bitch. in the tail. Yeah. <laughs> like, you shitting me. Sunfish. Listen, we'll stick with the shark story, all right? It's, I'm cool with the shark it's, story. It's a better story. I don't even know what a sunfish is. It sounds super, like, or this is, this freaking is cool. Yeah. <laughs> it's a dogfish, which I really hope. Shark. Oh, my God. Remember, we're videotaping, so all I want to hear is shark. Shark. We'll play the Jaws tune as we're pulling. Oh, yeah. Monster. Keep it coming. Wow. Yeah. So to finally cap off our multi-species trip, we ended up landing a 34-inch, 22-pound cod. And uh, considering the tackle that I was using for that, it sure felt good to pull that into the boat. What a what a fish! That was awesome. And you know, of course, since we were all fishing together, the natural knee-jerk reaction is uh, since we saw a big fish come up, everybody wanted to take a picture with the big fish. So uh, I thought that was pretty cool. It was awesome to watch everybody take a snap with it. Uh, a lot of fun, a lot of fun. This is definitely a trip to the record book. It's definitely a trip to the record book. But tons of fish.